Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Voss. You ever find yourself in a situation where you get an amazing opportunity, but someone else gets the short end of the stick? Like for example, you get a job you've been pining for. Nice pay, nice benefits, but that's only because the previous employee got fired. Or you audition for a sports team with friends, or apply to a university only for you to get accepted, but your other friends aren't so lucky and you have to leave them behind? That's how I imagine the relationship between our Pearl and White Pearl may have been leading up to Steven's return to Homeworld. While we haven't seen immediate reaction, there could be unearthed tension between the two pearls that'll be exposed to the audience in upcoming episodes. A dose of foreshadowing may have been slipped into our consumption of Steven Universe years ago. Allow me to explain by looking at some possible clues relating to this oh-so-creepy doll-like figure. Without a doubt, the biggest theory that followed the episode Legs from Middle Homeworld was that White Pearl wasn't made to serve White Diamond, she's forced to serve White Diamond. That she was the very first Pink Pearl. Yes, our Pearl was not the original servant for Steven's mother, but rather a replacement, someone who came into the picture later down the road, after the original Pearl was removed for one reason or another. There are many variations on the path that led to such an event happening. Some believe Pink Diamond broke her Pearl in a fit of rage. Our own theory on this channel was that because a Pearl behaves like their Diamond, Pink Pearl would have been immature and ill-mannered like Pink Diamond. Either way, when we look at Now We're Only Falling Apart, we saw firsthand that Pink Diamond constantly consulted the diamonds, at least yellow and blue. White was never mentioned, but that could have been Pearl purposely avoiding bringing up white. Either way, those meetings saw our Pearl hanging with yellow and blue Pearl. And I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that White Pearl and our Pearl could have been in the same room at the same time. Thus, both would have recognized each other. Pearl recognizing that this was Pink's original servant, someone who failed Pink Diamond, while White Pearl, assuming her original conscience is still intact, and even though she's controlled by White Diamond, she still retains the thoughts of her own, buried deep inside, recognizes our Pearl as her replacement. I also want to note that Pearl seemed to be very anxious about being replaced, noticeably after she attempted to fuse with Rose. My takeaway from that moment was more or less Pearl being aware she is a replacement. Thus, her voluntary suggestion of being disposed of was her addressing what she felt could have been an inevitability. Now, Rebecca Sugar also stated the more we learn about White Diamond, the more we learn about Pink Diamond. Thus, by extension, it's logical that the more we learn about White Pearl, the more we learn about our Pearl. That these four are connected. Their stories, their past, their history. It's been stated in multiple press articles that White Pearl is clearly abused. Now again, this could have been at the hands of Pink Diamond, but nothing that we've seen thus far strikes her as a physical abuser. Emotionally abusive? I mean, you can make that case. I certainly have in the past. But I feel as if it'd be a major curveball to just go, oh yeah, Rose also used to beat the crap out of her pearl. When we also examine the other diamonds, Pink appears to be the nicer one. And for heaven's sake, we don't even see Yellow Diamond abuse her pearl. Not saying it hasn't happened in the past, but both Yellow and Blue Pearl seem to have a decent relationship with their diamonds. I mean, yeah, they are slaves, they are servants, but you know, they seem happy to be there. Something I don't think would happen if they were abused. I mean, compare their attitude towards their diamonds to, let's say, the families of High Blue Agate. There's clear resentment there because High Blue Agate is pretty transparent in her abuse, both physical and verbal. However, White Pearl can't really speak up about her abuse because again, we can deduce some mind mumble jumbo going on there. Now, unlike Yellow and Blue Pearl, who are always accompanying their diamond, White Pearl seems to be the only one thus far who actually stays away from their diamond. Not only did White Pearl retrieve Steven alone, but after dropping him off in White's domain, she immediately leaves. So odds are we can see her pop around Homeworld without White Diamond being nearby. Now Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, Connie, even Yellow and Blue, they're not going to take Steven being taken away lightly. They're going to take a stand. And while it's likely that Steven's gonna go on a mission to reunite with them, they may embark on a mission of their own. But here's where Pearl has an advantage over Amethyst and Garnet. In Homeworld's eyes, she's still Pink Diamond's Pearl. Thus, she has the excuse of always being near Steven. I actually would not be surprised if Pearl made such a request in an upcoming episode. But who would bring Pearl to Steven? Now, you can argue that Pearl already knows her way around Homeworld and can go to Pink Diamond's domain, which is very likely. But considering Steven had to be escorted to Pink Diamond's room, I think anyone else would have to be as well, unless they're yellow or blue diamond. 
So I think Pearl would have to confront White Pearl. Her request to see Steven would have to go through White Pearl, who may or may not give her a hard time about everything, i.e. only Pink Diamond's presence is necessary in her room. And if White Pearl actually brings Pearl to Steven, this is where we could see a confrontation happen, one way or another. Now about that foreshadowing I mentioned earlier. When Legs first dropped on the internet, a lot of people instantly drew parallels between White Pearl's look to the fabrication of Connie that appeared in the episode Open Book. And when you compare fake Connie in that white wedding dress to White Pearl, the similarities cannot be ignored, especially that eye patch. The fake Connie even kind of talks like White Pearl. Also notice how that Connie's entire purpose was to do whatever Steven wanted? To serve him? But Steven kept pushing fake Connie to ask, what do you think? What do you want? And that broke fake Connie. So perhaps if Pink Diamond did break her pearl, it wasn't through physical means or even intentional. Maybe Pink Diamond just got frustrated at a servant lacking free will and trying to instate free will until the pearl broke her. She just couldn't process such an order. And here's where things pick up. The real Connie then confronts the fake Connie, although the fake Connie becomes quickly dismissive. Again, another characteristic we can find in White Pearl. And the fake Connie wasn't defeated, didn't disappear, until Steven admitted that he liked the book's ending. That Steven expressed how he really felt. So let's apply this to Pearl and White Pearl. Perhaps Steven resurfacing on Homeworld sparks something within White Pearl. Then maybe the pink pearl within her can suddenly get closure with her original diamond. And in a scenario where Pearl, Steven, and White Pearl are all in the same room, after thousands of years, White Pearl will just snap and confront Steven, believing him to be Pink Diamond, into confessing some sort of truth. Maybe how he really feels about his mother. Maybe how he really feels about White Pearl. As again, White Pearl would believe this is Pink Diamond. And yes, Pearl will clash with White Pearl, but ultimately, since this is Steven's story and rebounded by his perspective, he would would be the one that would have to resolve things. That the final blow would have to come from him, but not a physical strike, but verbal liberation. And perhaps somehow Steven can get through White Pearl. Maybe use his crazy mind powers to go inside and undo what White Diamond has done. But we have an entire theory on how Steven could free White Pearl. Check it out. But guys, what do you think? I know this was a crazy, out there theory that could be looking a bit too much into a previous episode, I'm not gonna lie. But you really can't deny that there's something intentional going on between fake wedding Connie and White Pearl. And I just want to learn more about her. Come on, new episodes. Please, please come through sooner than later. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet them directly to me at AustricVox or at The Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help The Roundtable Girls support us on Patreon, get access to exclusive perks every name featured at the end of the video, like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop of all things Steven. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Austrac Vox out.